Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. We train our brains with some portal this week on Boss Battle. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 113, a show in which the writers of InsertQuantumBegin.com get together to write up through talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F. J. Town, but before we get to the pretzel bits of this jello salad of a podcast, let's find out what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What did you achieve this week? Bobby, well, I mean, that one wasn't really good. I, I, um, I have nothing to work with. Okay. So, My brain um, didn't wash. I don't, uh, I don't even like jello salad. Uh, I replaced all of my armor and weapons in Destiny to rare items, uh, which would be the blue orbs, and figured out that I've played o- over a work week worth of Destiny and have never seen a purple drop, which is making me angry because now I don't think they exist. Gotta get that purple. Um, purple, purple is legendary, uh, and I haven't seen any. I, I don't think there's any in this no, game. Gold or legendary in, in uh, card game. But yeah, that's all. That's all I. Uh, that's all I accomplished. Okay. Um. I. I. T- I too have gotten Destiny. Finally. Um. I'm l- about level three, so I'll, I'll update everybody on my progress as I play along. Uh, Sorg, how about you? What'd you achieve this week? Oh, geez, I'm still rolling through on the GTA Five. I'm getting towards the end. Just uh, took out the uh, uh, FIB building. Um, hey guys, when you switch to Trevor, have you ever ended up on an island um, with a bunch of dead people around you, drunk and in your underwear? Oh, all yes. the time. All the time. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Trevor, Trevor has the best animation it, 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 when, he, when you it switch It messed with him. me because it automatically switched to him mm-hmm. and there were like no missions for me to do. <laughs> so I'm like, why did this just happen? And then I switched to Franklin and I continued. Um, so that was a thing that happened. Uh, also, of course, uh, doing a bit with, uh, you know, super card as usual. And I uh, got a little bit into um, Crazy Taxi uh, Rush, City Rush, I think it's That's called. Hulk Hogan. Because it was Hulk Hogan weekend. And I got to hire Hulk Hogan. And there's a Hulk Hogan tank. And is it just, uh, what's is that? It just for the, is it just for the weekend? Apparently, it was just for the weekend. I got a message today. It's like, you only have a few hours left to hire Hulk Hogan. I'm like, That's what? Stupid. That is BS. I mean, it's not like I paid for the game. It's a it's a freemium kind of thing. Um, but the cool thing with it is you can post videos. Let me see if I can find one here. I I, I should have prepped this. I'm, I apologize because um, I just remembered that this was a thing that happened. Um, but yeah, you can post videos straight to your Facebook. There it is. I made $184 with Hulk Hogan in his tank. Hulk Hogan should be a taxi driver all the time. This is tremendous, guys. I'm going to tweet it out. Uh, I'm going to tweet it out here uh, on the Insert Coin Twitter as well as my own at Sorgatron. And you guys can check it out. Uh, but yeah, there's a they have a there's a level of this where you just you're a tank and you're just destroying all the traffic, um, and uh, and it turns into a Hulk Hogan tank. So, nice. Yeah, yeah. Although there is a point. Maybe we'll discuss this later. But there is a point where he says, "Yo, uh, beware the might of Thunderlips." I mean Hulk Hogan. Like he gets confused and forgets what character he is in the middle of the game. Nice. Tremendous, tremendous. I'm surprised he didn't go ripping brother. <laughs> and he, I think he might at some point. Uh, but it was a trip. It made me download the game that I was already considering, um, and uh, it was fun. It really appealed to my wrestling Hulk Hogan, uh, real American uh, this. Nice. Uh, from the chat, Alex Cars said he played uh, Human Frogger. I don't know what that is, but. Uh, well that means he had to cross a really busy street. Probably, yes, probably. <laughs> All right. Um, another thing we want to mention uh, that uh, we are playing for 24 hours on October 25th for uh, Extra Life um, to benefit Children's Hospital and the Ch- uh, Children's Miracle Network. Um, we're going to be live streaming on Sorgatron, Sorgatron Media's home page, network page, um, and you can uh, donate to us at bit bit bit. bit, bit. Sorry, going out with the URL. Bit.ly slash extra life insert coin. Am I correct? Yeah. I don't know. You read the thing. I did. (laughs) (laughs) So go check that out. We just got a couple weeks left, and uh, we'll be live. 24 hours, uh, and we're going to be playing some of the classics, some new games, and it's going to be fun. Raising money for your kids. Yes. Yes. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Yeah. Yes. I got a friend dancing with me on top of the gazebo. 
Nice. <laughs> Sorry, that, it felt like I needed to update. Gezebo. <laughs> All right. Um, Chachi, you want to take us around the net while you're uh, get floating around on the gazebo there? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your favorite part of this podcast and your favorite part of the internet in general. It is time for video game themed things from around the internet. Net, 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 net. All right. So uh, first, as always, let's start with the runners up. Uh, here's 10 geeky things that have been decided by the Supreme Court. Uh, number 10, Transformers, less than meets the eye. Uh, Hasbro sold Asus, uh, or sued Asus because they called their tablets Transformer. No, Transformer um, Prime, I believe. No, well, they had two. They had Transformer, then the next one was Transformer Prime. Um, and it's surprising that they weren't sold, but are sued by, I keep saying sold. They, it's surprising that they won't, weren't sold, uh, sued. sued by iPad as yeah. well. Because it was the E-Pad Transformer. Um, number nine, Star Trek fans are not, by definition, mentally impaired. Um, so that was a thing. Um, a trouble with tribbles. Yeah. Uh, number eight, Star Wars versus Star Wars. Uh, the space program, oh, yeah. the Strategic Defense Initiative, uh, named their uh, weapons... Star Wars, mm -hmm. and George Lucas tried to sue and failed. Um, seven, the one that applies to us, uh, you cannot re realistically depict a celebrity in fiction, because uh, EA Games tried that. What? Uh, and number, what number are we at? Six. Number six, Superman versus Captain Marvel. Uh, in which they sued because they were two alike. Uh, number five, the Batmobile is a fictional character. Uh, number four, another one that applies to us, you have the constitutional right to play video games without being accompanied by an adult. Yes. Number I'm four, not accompanied number, by an adult right now. Yes. Number three, zombies are protected by the First Amendment. Okay. Number two. That's, that's an actual Supreme Court case. Yes. What the hell? Uh, Irwin versus. Society? It's uh, Irwin versus Tennessee Valley Authority U.S. District Court, uh, 2013. Number two, Dungeons and Dragons is a security risk. And number one, mutants are not legally human beings. What the this hell? Was this was Toy Biz Inc. versus the United States. US oh, I Court remember of, that, I think. Yes, uh, U.S. Court of International Trade 2003. What happened yeah. was Marvel was getting hit with a, an extra tax because they were their action figures were yep. made in China. I remember that. And were classified as dolls, which at the time had to pay higher taxes. <laughs> so they tried to sue to say that mutants aren't humans, therefore their toys aren't dolls. Their action figures. Yep, and uh, so they pay a lower price. It worked. And apparently, <laughs> the judge went over sixty toys <laughs> to decide this. Wow. So yeah, um, and then you can read the full article. I recommend that you do because it's entertaining, uh, <laughs> not just for someone who works in the legal profession, but for everyone. Um, and fans are remaking Ocarina of Time in two D. Yay. Like Link to the Past? Yes. Only Ocarina of Time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it says that the project is nowhere near finished, but if you follow the link over at insertcointobegin.com, you can download a demo and try out the parts that are. So there's that. Sweet. Let's get to the uh, pretzel bit of this uh, <laughs> jello salad of a, of a post. Uh, first up, that angry bird came from the moon. Um, Angry Birds creator Rovio has announced an Angry Birds animated movie starring Peter Dinklage, Jason Sudeikis, <laughs> um, Maya Rudolph, Danny McBride, and more due out in 2016, and that's all the details. The one thing that has the, <laughs> the, that's good for that, it it has a good cast. Yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, everybody, be, I mean, everybody but Sword pretty much forgot about Angry Birds. But <laughs> so yeah, hey. I mean, it's, it's a really good. <laughs> I'm it's sorry, a great sorry, cast, sorry. and the movie should uh, 
should do well, despite Bobby repeatedly saying that Angry Birds is like the worst game ever. <laughs> it's so, not the worst game ever. But hey, that's not what you said. I did not say that. You put words in my Bobby, mouth. Bobby, I did, do you, what? I did do you not. really want me to get started? Did you did you hear me defending Pittsburgh to Eamon last night? Do you really want me to get started on Angry Birds tonight? No. I'm not ready for that kind of a battle. I have to find my moonstone in the walls. I defended Pittsburgh again Pokemon. earlier tonight with striking distance. <laughs> I'm in the zone. Striking distance, starring Bruce Willis. <laughs> Chachi, please move on. Please. Before this gets ugly. Next next on this uh, wonderful journey, uh, the Deuce Destiny Loot Cave, a.k.a. the Cave of Wonders, lives on in a browser game called Interactive Cave Shooter. Um, it's a simple uh, flash game based on the Unity engine where you just point at a cave and shoot while colored orbs come out. For the record, in the 45 seconds I've played this game, I saw more purple drops than I have <laughs> in the 40 plus hours I played the real game. Is this purple. is this is this has so many purple drops that there might be a Supreme Court case over it? No, I'm sorry, I can't talk tonight. Purple Drops is the new, the uh, name of my mixtape that's coming out this fall. <laughs> purple Drops is the name of my uh, Purple Rain cover band. Purple Drops, Purple Drops. That doesn't work, Sorg. No? It would have to be Prince cover band. Purple Rain Prince cover band. Yes. The, no, I got confused because he has so many names. Styles. <laughs> Anyhow, we got, last we got not Country Western Purple Rain. We got... Rap Purple Rain, we have Hip Hop Purple Rain, we'll rap in Hip Hop for this Oh yeah, the thing. whole sound. Uh, we've got oh. Ska Purple Rain. I'm waiting for the R&B Purple Rain uh, myself, so if you could drop that joint, that would be great. Um, last but not least, have you ever wondered what it'd be like if two roommates had portal guns? Yes. <laughs> uh, YouTube channel Racka Racka answered that question in this amazing 2 minute and 20 second long YouTube video. Awesome. Uh, which leads me to believe that it's a great thing that Sorg and I did not own portal guns. Yeah. Um, because at first it would be to hand each other stupid shit that I mean, we you really know, didn't need. Let's be honest. This video is basically us when we lived together, but with portal guns. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, to be honest, there were a lot of times where we would be instant messaging each other on aim. Uh, five feet away from each other. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if this happened, it would be uh, a portal next to the desk and a portal next to the refrigerator, <laughs> which is probably a great idea. So I'm going to need a portal gun. Just what, about it a, out there. what about a potty portal? A potty portal? No. <laughs> that is such a good idea. You'll never have to leave the couch. <laughs> no, because, I, I don't know, the refrigerator is further away from my desk than the bathroom is. So I think I would much rather have the uh, the one next to the refrigerator. I don't know. I might need more than one. <laughs> I think you got to test drive it both before you make a decision. Yep. Yeah, that's very true. And that is all I have for you this week on this lovely, lovely edition of video game themed things from around the internet. Net, 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 net. Back to you, Bobby. All right, guys, it's time for some things we should be made aware of. Uh, we're going to start off with some news bits here. Guys, do you remember Mountain Dew Game Fuel? It's still out on the shelves. <gasps> it's back! Hey, well, a new flavor is coming. Um, it's a new flavor for Call of Duty, the new Call of Duty game that's coming out. Do you get double XP? Advanced Warfare. Do you get double XP? There is, there is something with bottle caps, and I'm sure it's double XP. I don't see anything on it right now. I'm going to die. But they announced the new flavor is lemonade flavored. What? I'm gonna die. God, yeah, God, which... stop it! Stop it, Mountain it'll be... Dew. No, it'll, it'll be good. It'll be good. It's time to get morbidly obese with video games and soda and Doritos. I'm gonna die, Bobby. I mean, yeah. let's be honest. I I drank so much Mountain Dew and ate so many Doritos last time that the fact yeah. that I'm still alive is just simply amazing. A lot of people are souring on the new Call of Duty, though. Um, I know a couple of my friends that had it before aren't going to get it this time our so, friends our friends yeah so Man. i don't know we shall see how it goes but i'll get it because i'm good at call of duty and that's yeah. what i do <laughs> 
but um, it just uh, I I know that there was there was uh, last year they had uh, what was it Halo last year's th uh, yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, but they, they've done it in the past, but it's it's kind of good to see that they, they're uh, Mountain Dew still innovating new flavors for the Call of Duty games. Um, before it was World of Warcraft, they had two different ones. Uh, they had that lime flavored one for something. I can't even remember what game it was, but it's good to see that they're they're not giving up on the flavors. So, all right, and uh, I'm gonna do you guys die remember? Already. Do you guys remember at E3? The uh, game that Nintendo unveiled with Toad, Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. It got a release date. It's coming Ooh. out December fifth for the Wii U. Um, the game uh, features Toad, where you can't jump, I believe, but um, it's like a puzzle-solving game with Toad. Toad in his own game. It, it's awesome. I, I I'm a huge fan of Toad. Um, I usually pick him to, for uh, Double Dash. Him and uh, Koopa Troopa are my two favorites. So. Um, it's going to be uh, it's a 3D puzzle platformer, and it's going to be priced at forty dollars. So that's pretty good. Nice. Uh, not not a full price Wii U game, I guess, but uh, awesome. Well, that means it's going to be small. Probably. I mean, it, it's Toad's first game, so I mean, nobody they're not sure how to gauge the the reaction to it. I guess maybe. Um, it's Toad in a game. Yeah. So that's how you gauge the reaction. Yeah, but I don't know if he's going to have Mario or even Luigi with him, or Yoshi so, even. So, so we'll see. You know how much time I spent playing as Toad in Super Mario Bros. 2? Yeah, a lot. Toad was the, by far the best. An amazing okay. amount of time. Yeah. Princess was good, too, though. She floated. She was good well, for, like, air levels. At the time, at the time <laughs> I wasn't really into playing as girls. So, yeah, I, dude, I, I was all about that floating ability, and in my yeah. in my young teenage or preteen mind, it was like maybe I could see <laughs> upper skirt. Uh, Luigi was complete bullshit in that game. No well, way, he, Luigi he was awesome jump. in that game. Floated too, kind of. Nope, nope. I could never get ran ran yeah. across air. Yeah. How could you not like that? Nope. Exactly. I mean, seriously. Sorry, I'm, I'm taking away your gamer card. I miss Birdo. What? <laughs> Take it away, your grandma card. Sorry. Another you know, you know, respect Luigi, or else pay the price. You do not respect the Luigi. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm sorry. I mean Green Mario. Respect <laughs> Green, Green Mario. Mario. <laughs> Green Mario. All right. Um, and Lego Batman Three uh, announced that they're getting a new character. Hey, hey, hey! Guess what? I'm pre-ordering. Guess Lego what game <laughs> I'm pre-ordering for the first Lego Batman time Three. Ever. Lego Batman Three. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna pre-order it on Amazon. That way, it's at my door day of because um, Kevin Smith. Yeah. Yep, Kevin Smith has been announced to be in uh, Lego Batman Three as um, as himself as, as Kevin Smith as Kevin Smith. He has the hockey jersey and everything. It's amazing. So um, we're gonna see how how well he fares against the villains of the DC universe, and uh, and and hopefully he's, he. Uh, gets gives us a Lego podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they also um are going to they they also announced they're going to add Troy Baker and uh uh Steve Amell from Arrow. Hmm. Uh, they're uh, like, oh no they're going to they're going to uh, join a panel to talk about the game I guess. But um I wonder if they're going to add Arrow the guy from Arrow to the game as well. So that sounds pretty cool. But it's cool to have like a different character in there. Not really a character, an actual human being that is such a huge DC fan. I know Kevin Smith loves Batman. He has his own podcast about Batman. Um, check that out if you haven't checked checked it out already. It's it's awesome. So, all right, moving on here. Um, do you guys remember Irrational Games, the makers of Bioshock Infinite? I remember Bioshock. Well, they laid a whole bunch of people off. Oh, those uh, and assholes. Those people. Those people have come together uh, to form a new uh, independent uh, game, game studio, and they put their project up on Kickstarter this week. Um, it's The Black Glove is wh what the new game is called, and it sounds like a really interesting game. Um, Day for Night Games is what the, they're called, I guess, uh, and it's set in a 1920s theater called The Equinox, um, and it's a very artistic game. Um, 
It says, it says here, uh, based on your decisions, the creator may become influenced by 8-bit video game music, 60s era pop art, uh, Day of the Dead folk art, 70s comic, cosmic comics, anime, uh, multimedia exper experimental art, cyberpunk fiction, uh, sad, odd clown paintings, low-budget B-movies, and more. Hmm. So it's like a really artistic game in which you, I guess, control like a theater of your own. So I, that's uh, kind of cool. I, it's different. My, my interest is peaked at the mention of sad, sad eye clowns. Yeah, sad eye clowns. All, uh, all but, they need, all they need is those, uh, those change collectors from the gas stations of mm -hmm. the uh, basset hounds with the sad eyes, and I'm 100% sold. <laughs> if it um, wasn't for my ban on Kickstarter, I'd probably give them money. <laughs> Uh, but they, they said the Black Love is bound for Linux, Mac, and Windows PC in late 2015, and uh, they said other platforms will be announced, so it might make its way to consoles as well. Um, but, you know, they're, they're uh, seeking at least $550,000 to complete the game. So hopefully they can get it. It sounds like, it sounds like it's going to be an interesting title. It looks really cool. Yeah. Uh, they're already at 52,000 uh, of their Kickstarter, and let's see, uh, you can get a downloadable copy for, uh, at 35, uh, wait, wait, at $20, you can get a downloadable copy of the Black Glove. Hmm. So, that that's cool. Sounds like the price point for it. Mm -hmm. uh, I, yo, I'm interested, I, I love the atmosphere of uh, Bioshock. Uh, uh, Bioshock Infinite mm -hmm. is still on my list to play. Shit, I have that game, don't I? Um, you should play that on uh, the, when we do the 24 hours. You know what, I, I, well, yeah, well, we'll talk about <laughs> that strategy at some other time. Um, but I got a few other things to finish before I get to that. So yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I Just pick up and, and start games left and right like I do. <laughs> Alright. Um, guys, we all played Portal 2, right? Yeah. <laughs> Not everybody answered at once. I, I um, love that game. <laughs> sorry, I was talking and had you on mute. We, um, yes, I, I've played the crap out of Portal 2. Yes. Have been a well, fan. That, means, that means that you are a very smart person because uh, Florida State University did a study. Uh, a, a woman by the name of Val Shute, uh, she tested 77 students. Uh, with some playing Portal 2 and some playing Luminosity, okay, which is a brain teaser uh, website that's supposed to be good for your brain. Portal 2, in her words, kicked Luminosity's ass <laughs> as far as brain training goes. Um, but th she said it, it was a very small uh, section of students, um, but she'd like to expand her uh, study even more. Um, but and hands down, Portal 2 beat Lumosity in training your brain, and it made the, the people took tests afterwards, and they did way better on the test than the people that played Lumosity, these oh, games, cool. little game, like brain teaser games on Lumosity. And Lumosity is a site that that is known, like they advertise that they will make you smarter and all the stuff like that. But Portal 2, you know, just totally took it to task. Do you guys remember playing Portal 2 and be like, man, I am so smart? <laughs> Trying no, to figure out no, no, actually, it kind of made don't. me feel like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but coming out of it, you should have taken your, the SATs or something like that. <laughs> Man, I, if only yeah. we had Portal when I took those SATs. I know, I know. have had a whole different Man. path. <laughs> if well, only I the, took the SATs. Wasn't the first Portal actually made in a class? And, like, they turned it into, like, from a tech demo into the, into the game? It was a... It was like a, was it a psychology was it, study or something was like that. It? Was it like a student something like that? Or something? Hmm. 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 Something to think about. Mm -hmm. Good thing we have Portal 2 to make us smarter. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> All right. And uh, this, this is going to be part of our final battle question. Um, do you guys remember the game Mist? Yeah. For PC yeah. back in yeah. the day, I I never actually played Mist. You can't actually um, get it now for the iPhone if you're interested. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, it, it was set on an island, and it was like kind of like a puzzle game, mystery game. Um, the creators of Mist have inked a deal to turn the adventure game into a TV series. Uh, Legendary Entertainment and, and Mist developer Cyan have reached an agreement that will see the uh, adventure series le leap from the PC and dozens of other platforms to television. Um, this is, this is kind of a cool thing because I don't remember a lot of video games becoming TV shows. 
um, like the the ones that come to mind are like the cartoons, like Earthworm Jim, stuff like that. Um, you don't know Jack became a game show. Um, so our final bo- final final battle question is: What other video games would you like to see become a TV show? Uh, first, I wanted. To- uh, no, 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 that, that counts, actually. Legend of Zelda? No, no, they, they, they cutified that. Excuse me, princess. <laughs> mm, mm. That was a cartoon, so it was kind of a TV show. Could you see, like, a Left 4 Dead becoming a Walking Dead type of show? That would be, yeah, that would be good. But then they have that Z Nation on sci-fi, and that's just... Uh... I haven't seen that one, no. <laughs> yeah, you don't um, want to. Wow, that's, that's that a great. good question. Uh, but, no, uh, you know, something um, something serial, like, a, I could see a Resident Evil or something. Mm-hmm. I, I keep going with the zombies, I could see I could see Uncharted becoming a TV show. Could be, could be, or um, the Bioshock. <laughs> I mean, I mean, basically, what is what is cons? Because problem is, video games turned into movies are we're taking this grand concept and fitting it into a ninety minute story, right? Mm-hmm. And sure. no good story video game really fits that concept. Whereas mm-hmm. if you take a Bioshock, you take a Resident Evil, you take a Tomb Raider, you turn it into a serialized thing, it actually kind of makes more sense to do it that way. Mm-hmm. The only thing I would do, or I would like to see done, is a live action Legend of Zelda, but it would have to be live action. It, no, it would yeah. not. I would not accept anything else. Mm-hmm. And I, uh, I would not. Um, it would have to be on a not network channel. Like it would have to be on premium. Hub. <laughs> I just I yeah. know because I've seen uh, a lot of my favorite. Like uh, the Seeker series, which is a, a book, a fantasy book series by Terry Goodkin, mm-hmm. was turned into a TV show, and it was horrible. It was in syndication, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's just bad, like mm-hmm. beyond bad. It's not even enjoyable. I tried to go back and watch some of it, and I'm like, what did you do to this book? <laughs> and it, it's mainly because it was on the CW. And I'm like, no, you can't do that. There's too much blood and gore. Like, they took out <laughs> one of the most important characters of the first book wasn't even there because he's a pedophile. Jeez. And I'm just like, you can't do that. Like, I realize that you, I realize you can't show that on television. Well, that would you don't. The dad from don't. Seventh Heaven wouldn't be on the show either. Oh. You don't, you don't nix the character. Yeah. It's just, you can't know. It's bad. So, I mean, um, I don't want them touching anything. Well, that's what I was going to mention with Uncharted. It kind of remind, has the feel of, like, a one of those shows, like, syndicated Briscoe County Junior style shows. <laughs> you know, hey, I mean, you know, it would be, some... be kind of fun. It would be kind of fun to see. I, I actually right looked there. up TV shows based on... Uh, uh, video games. I'm mm-hmm. surprised that now I remember the Mortal Kombat uh, Conquest that was always mm-hmm. on for, after Monday Nitro for for a period there. Um, but more recent, and these aren't ones that were TV series necessarily, but they were live action series. There's yeah, a Mortal, the, Com- Mortal Kombat Legacy. There's, TV, yeah. There's the Halo stuff, uh, the Halo Four stuff that's coming up or has happened, I think. Um, yeah. Which I uh, think they turned into a movie that you could get on Netflix. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, There's another show coming from Halo on the Xbox One. Yeah, yeah, and they have another it. series coming, of yeah. course. Um, and it's all live action. Uh, another one, uh, the Street Fighter Assassin's Fist, um, which is on Machinima. Yeah. It, really yeah. good. I got about halfway through that one. I just I just need to remember to go back to it. Uh, really, really well done. Probably like the best representation of Street Fighter in a long form that I've seen. Right. I just had a show in my head, and I can't remember what it was now. Uh, that I remember it was also, a video game show. Um, oh, oh, that the one that they the uh, sci-fi has that became a video game. They they did at the same time. The video game and the show were running at the same time. Um, how, what is it called? Well, I'll give you a minute on that, but I, this is why I didn't know. There's three seasons of Maniac Mansion out there somewhere. Wow. Apparently they made it in Canada for the family television sh- network or something. <laughs> I This I need to find. I'm sure it's not good. Um, I, I would like to see Assassin's Creed, but that would fail. Um, it would be way too expensive to make. Uh, Science. I think they could TVize it. Defines. Really no, yeah. really, no, really in the HBO, long run. In the long run, HBO you... doesn't do that. Um, HBO spends a lot of money making sure they don't have to TVize it, mm-hmm. and that's True. the only—that's one of the only channels that would work. Because I mean, look at shows like 
what Carnival, um, Rome, yeah, um, yeah. and they uh, Deadwood. Okay, I think it was that level. Yeah, yeah. Um, they had uh, it, it, there was just too much stuff. You, you couldn't. You could, and they don't. They cost too much to make. That's the problem. Well, Showtime. If, if Showtime can bring back Twin Peaks, I mean, anything's possible. <laughs> it, it just it wouldn't work. Um, Defiance was that show I was thinking of from okay. Sci-Fi. Okay. Yeah. So, um, awesome. So, uh, right. uh, yeah, yeah, I, I could see. I could see. I really think TV should be just a better option for a lot of these these mm-hmm. cases yeah we get fighting yeah. game shows yeah th- there's there are a lot more stories than fighting game stories to, yeah. to take from fighting game stories are pretty much this guy versus that guy that girl versus the guy or, you know yeah it's just not really a, a lot of story behind some some fighting games do have a lot of story behind them but i don't see uh eternal champions from sega becoming show <laughs> anytime soon. eternal ch- Wait, you just evoked the eternal <laughs> champions did. I pulled that somewhere out of the 80s. Wow. <laughs> no, it's the 90s. Thank 90s you. I the believe 90s, they had a 32X yeah. version. Yeah, so. it was 90s. Yeah. Wow. So. Resurrect that one, guys. is a freemium yeah. game on your iPhone, Sega. I just realized that uh, all of these books I want to read need to be audio books. <laughs> Audible Doc? I want, to, I want to go back to the, uh, the, the Seeker series, and I don't think they are audio books, and that just takes up way too much time. Welcome to Bookcast, everybody. <laughs> All right. Sorry. That, that's gonna be it was just a the, thought I had. Yeah, that's going to do it for us this week. This week, you can follow us on Twitter on at InsertCoinTV. You can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily. And you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on live.sorgatronmedia.com. Uh, special thanks to Michael Allen at Michael Allen PR for helping us with, us with the notes and tweets all night. Um and you can also uh, go to that link that I mentioned earlier, uh, bit.ly slash extra life insert, insert coin to donate uh, to our let's pl- or our uh, uh, extra life cause that we're doing for 24 hours on October 25th. Um, and we'll see you guys next week for at Sorgatron at Ch- Chachi says I'm at Bobby FJ town game over everybody. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Do you like professional wrestling? Want your discussions? No holds barred. Check out wrestlingmayhemshow.com for all the wrestling podcast flavor you can handle.